hello 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 well this is the video that um i mentioned about how they tag the balcony and it's just that one wall on my balcony that they tag they don't tag the back behind and they don't tag the one to the left when i'm standing facing the balcony um i was there this was taken with my camera not with my phone um it is a good digital camera um, I didn't do anything with the filtering. This is just how it came out. Um, obviously, I didn't see it at the time because I was too busy focusing on what that cloud was. <clears throat> Excuse me, that what that cloud was. I'd been out with my son. I'd come home and got straight onto the balcony because I just had a feeling, you know how you get that, you've got to trust your instincts. And, um, and I hadn't seen anything and it wasn't until I looked back. And this is a few months ago, um, but too much has happened or transpired in between then and now. And then it wasn't on my phone, phone, so I was like, oh, maybe I imagined it. Um, and obviously, I've had my computer fixed, ding, ding, ding. Um, and I found it again. And this stuff, it's like um, they have banners and they do a procession and they, they go round and round and round in a circle um, right in front of you. Um, they're just a black mass. Um, they have faces, they look like they're smiling at you, um, grinning at you, and not in a sinister way. Um, it's like they're excited that you can see them, that somebody finally sees them. Um, it's like they, 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 oh, I know it makes me sound crazy, um, but they, they zipped right, so they're going basically from one side of my balcony to the other, um, and that's when all the tagging sort of started, um, from then on. So I've just done it in a few different, I've slowed it down as much as I can so you can see it. It's all right down the bottom of the screen. Um, I wish that I had have had the camera pointed down further, but obviously I did not expect it to be there. I really didn't. Um, so I don't, I don't know what it is about my place, um, why I'm getting so much activity, why I'm seeing stuff and capturing stuff um, that I did not expect to see um, so if anyone has any ideas um, please comment and let me know um, as I said I'm, I'm biased because my opinion is my opinion based on my life and my interaction with life um, so yeah I'm, I'm always welcome to some communication and some knowledge from other people um, but yeah so that's how they tag that side of my balcony um, they have some like electrical discharge or something like that. I think they came from that cloud, those two clouds that look like, um, almost like they're kissing. Um, I think it came from there. If you look down underneath that, it also looks a bit wavy, a bit of a discharge or something. Um, I don't know, but yeah, it was a bit of a spin out. So I don't know what the symbols mean, what they say, um, because it's, it's like, they're implanting something um you know it's it's always around here so i've had so if i look back and i should do a compilation of all the weird shit that i've seen so it started with the creepy clouds then the clouds peering at me um over my window um always right just out the front of where i am and nowhere else um all the rainbows just in the one area then the orbs, um, the flashing orbs going past, the little black dots that, you know, follow you around and zoom in and zoom out that come out of the clouds, um, the tagging, um, just, just, yeah, all that type of, all that type of stuff. All the, the clouds that, you know, um, all the electric, all the electrical stuff, um, the clouds that, you know, I call and they come. Um, the one that I said, come, come down, come down. And it did. And the lightning went across, right across the balcony, right across the balcony where all of that's happening. So is that a correlation? Is that, you know, is there something in the building here? This building is five years old. Um, and obviously I'm not the first person to be living here. Um, and there's two apartments above me, which are the penthouses. And then there's um, five floors underneath me. Um, but you know, it's, I think just that I'm the first cab off the rank. 
um, where I look, I have the best view. And everybody that comes here, and they're like, whoa, you've got the best view, you know? And I'm like, yeah, because everyone else, you know, they might have lovely high rises and be higher up and everything, but they have, they look out over another apartment or another building. There's something that stops the view from being perfect like mine. Um, so I'm in the right place at the right time. I don't know. But anyway, so that's, so it's, if you just see all that black stuff that just goes zipping down the bottom of the screen, that is them. They are like on a roller coaster or on a merry-go-round. I don't know what they're doing. They zip past. Um, I've seen it a few times, but I've always just thought, because I have bad vision, um, so I've always just thought that it was my overactive imagination, that it was a, you know, just maybe cars going past in the streets down below, but, you know, no, no, the, this, there's no streets up there. Um, I've, I've sort of checked all of that. Um, no. But yeah, it's, um, I have no idea. And some, and they, and one, and they look like little, um, sometimes if you have a look at some of the photos that I'm going to put up, um, just with some of the different filters, um, parts that look dark there, it's like once you put the filter in, part of the clouds actually disappear. And then there's images of things that were behind the clouds. Uh, might be a face or it might be a spacecraft that's hidden. Um, so they hide and they m camouflage everything. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm a big believer that what's up in the sky, um, that's water up there. So yeah, yeah, that's why I've become a little bit more religious um, because what I see and what I hear um, is, is all becoming real. Um, you know, so I can't say I'm born again because I was never born the first time. Um, so I'm, I'm being born um, into being a full-on believer. So for all of those that have always queried that about me, um, you know, I've always been upfront and honest. I'm a good person. I'm a decent person. Um, I believe in good and evil. Um, I've just never grown up with um, a family, religious um, a background. Um, I did go to a Catholic girls' high school, um, but that turned me off religion because uh, the nuns were just so controlling. They were just horrible. Um, and that was all in Melbourne, <laughs> where all that horrible stuff is happening right now. So, yeah, um, that's my home state. I was in Melbourne until I was 26. Um, so it's... Um, that's where all my family is. Mm. So I'm, I'm now fearing that I'll never see them again. But if, if, if that is how it is, um, I have two sisters and my mum. My mum is fully jabbed. Um, she took the last one uh, last week, a week ago today. Um, and one sister, my elder sister, because I'm the middle sister, my elder sister is fully jabbed. And my younger sister is not jabbed at all and doesn't want it. So um, maybe my mum and my sister can come and visit me because I won't be able to go down there. And I've accepted that. Hmm. But, you know, maybe things will change. Maybe um, circumstances will give us... You know, we've got um, the United Australia Party, the UAP, um, with Clive Palmer. Um, and he has a lot of money, um, a, a lot of money. Um, and he, he is, that's why I post his videos. Um, I want, you know, you and uh, other people in other parts of Australia and people around the world to know that not all Australian politicians and all um, political parties are in bed with those demons. Um, you know, I'm not saying that they're the, the most honest or uh, the most reputable people, but they're standing for the righteousness of what needs to be done right now and protect the kids. And that's where Craig Kelly, um, and just think, the, the first, you know, the first Iron Man, Ned Kelly, I might do a video on that. Um, you know, he, he friggin' made a cast iron shield for himself so that the police couldn't kill him, you know, and it was bloody heavy. Um, and that was the Eureka Stockade, you know, all over the gold. Um, so Australia has a very, very, very tainted history. 
Um, you think back to the gold rush that we had here. I know California had a big gold rush and so did Australia down in Victoria. Yeah, down south. Um, so the hub of nastiness. Um, and the Chinese came um, for the gold. Um, that's why we've got such a huge Chinese population here. A lot of people like to stay. Um, and then they were, you know, trying to, oh, I've gone, I've talked too much. I've got to go. Bye. Okay, Ned Kelly is part of Australian history and folklore. Um, everyone, half the people say he was a criminal and other people saw it, say he's a hero. Um, yeah, Mick Jagger, he actually played Ned Kelly in a movie. He came and spent a few months here in Australia back in the 1960s. So there you go. Um, he had, once again, the first Iron Man. He had the Kelly gang. It was him and his brothers. And they were a bit of bush rangers. Um, so they did do some bad stuff, but they did it for the right reasons. And when you have a look at the photo of him, he's like the hipster man. So maybe he is my hipster man. And he was hung at Old Melbourne Jail and they have his death mask and all of his skull has gone missing. I'll do a story on it. Take care. Bye. It makes me sick what I do for this shit.